everybody. How's everybody doing today? Kind of a gloomy Tuesday morning, but uh, we're off to a good start today. I wanted to talk today about another local thing. So if you're not local to Washington, D.C., you don't have to watch. <laughs> not that you had to watch in the first place. Um, it's not like 1982, is it? Nope, not at all. Thank goodness. The Postal Museum, something that you probably wouldn't even think twice about. Uh, you may have heard, if you have heard of it, you may have heard that it's awesome, and I wanted to let you know, yes, it is really awesome. Uh, not not what you would expect, as far as I would tell. Most people, when they go there and they come back and they describe it, they say how awesome it is and how it isn't what you'd expect, and I'm just here to concur on that and give you a few more details about what you might actually do if you go there. So the entire top floor is all about stamps. Now, stamps are really cool just because their little iconic windows into history and pop culture and regular culture and all that jazz. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> the history of the stamp, stamp making, uh, they have uh, physical stamp collections, digital stamp collections, and all these drawers, two, three hundred of them, where you can pick the timeline you want to look at, pull out this drawer and look at stamps that have been recovered from those eras. Uh, they have, of course, that famous one of the airplane flying upside down. They have the, uh, <clears throat> you know, a uh, copy of uh, some of the very first stamps, moon landing stamps, uh, stamps that survived Auschwitz, stamps that survived the Hindenburg, and uh, so on and so forth. So it is really neat to take a quick look at that, and, you know, figure out, well, what area, what era am I interested in? I'm not interested in 1910. All right, let's pull out and let's see what we got. We got some... I don't know, Warren Harding, who was president then, stamps, whatever it might have been. Uh, you go a little further and you'll see uh, <coughs> uh, the uh, Martin Luther King, I Have a Dream speech uh, stamp, the uh, uh, moon landing stamp, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Lots, lots of different stamps to look at. They're really cool. It's fun and interactive. The kids didn't mind it very much. Um, I would recommend checking it out, even if you do have the kids. Take a walk through. There's little bits on um, got an ambulance here. This dude's getting out of the way, but he's going around the other way. So Whoever needs that evidence, I hope they're okay. But, then, that's the upstairs. Uh, of course, architecture is beautiful. It's fun just to walk around in the building. All the staff was super friendly. They gave a tour. They were, they were starting their 1 o'clock tour as soon as we got there. This was cool. And you just kind of stand next to the guy, and he gives this tour, and he answers your questions, and he walks you around. And it was not crowded. We went on a Sunday afternoon, which I imagine Sunday isn't their most crowded day of the week, but it certainly shouldn't be their least crowded day of the week. And it was really cool. I, I recommend it. <clears throat> Downstairs, big atrium inside this building where they have um, Senate offices and uh, they share an office with some of the department. Of course, I labor and statistics, I think. I can't remember exactly which. Uh, but the bottom two floors dedicated to the museum. They've got um, a huge, uh, big, interactive, really fun to look at displays on the history of the Postal Service. Kind of, uh, these are the vehicles that they used in this era, and you can get up in and walk around in and try out the vehicles. Uh, great big tractor trailers you can get up and pretend to drive, and uh, of course kids love that. Then they got this big thing on mail sorting, so you can... Um, try and uh, send packages to the right place and uh, uh, scan barcodes and uh, just various little things like that. And it wasn't so enthralling that we wanted to spend hours and hours and hours in that exhibit, but man, the kids loved it for a good 15, 20 minutes. Best thing then, past that, the, the downstairs was really awesome. Everything about it was cool. Oh, the, um, I forget what the name of the place is, but there's that Germantown address where you can send your uh, secret postcards to, um, and then they make books out of them. Uh, they had this big exhibit on that and showed stacks and stacks and stacks of the postcards that he's received. Um, but then, when you're done, the cool thing is, if you want to travel there, Metro is right there. It's the shortest Metro walk uh, I've been on probably ever. You get out, you cross the street, and psh, there's, that's the museum right there. Then, um, Union Station is the stop where you get off. It's right across the street from Union Station. And... Um, Union Station, of course, has that huge food court downstairs and uh, lots of shops and things to meander about in. And, of course, it's gorgeous. And Shake Shack, they had the Shake Shack there. And this was the emptiest Shake Shack I've ever seen. We had no trouble getting a table. We sat upstairs over the mezzanine in 
the un in Union Station. I got to watch the people wandering around and uh, uh, getting on train. Well, not getting on trains, but getting ready to get on a train, you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Highly recommend that. That was really cool as well. Uh, last thing I mentioned is if you've ever seen the movie My Fellow Americans, we always laughed about this every time we saw this movie because we'd been Union Station many, many times. That was our favorite spot to go stop and eat because it had this great food court. Uh, very easy to get in and out of, too. So um, at Union Station, between Union Station and the Postal Museum, you can see the Postal Museum in the movie My Fellow Americans. There's a scene where James Garner is uh, um, at Union Station. He's meeting somebody, James Garner's character now. And um, so uh, he gets in a car with this character, and another car pulls up beside him and takes a couple of uh, uh, gunshots at him. And then it speeds down between the two. So two buildings here, Union Station, Postal Museum, and this car goes speeding down this way. But if you look in the road that he was actually on, there's nothing down that way. There's just like a dead end, a place where you can go for um, maintenance work or something. So it's kind of, I always thought that was funny. The car drives out, it's not going anywhere. But that's Postal Museum. Highly recommended. Uh, lots of fun things to do there. You should go, you got kids of any age, you should take them and then they'll enjoy themselves. Uh, even if it's only for a couple of hours and then you have to buy them a burger afterwards. But you know, that's kids, right? That's the way I was. That's the way I still am. You want, you want me to go somewhere with you? Yeah. You going to feed me? Yeah, I'm in. Food is good. Food is, don't shoot food. Bonus points. Don't shoot food. Bonus points. All right. So, uh, you got any other hidden gems? Cool things that you think we ought to do in your, hey, even in your hometown, you know? I want to, I want to travel. I want to visit all kinds of cities in our, in our country, in our world. Whereabouts, uh, are the hidden gems in your particular city? Always want to go. Any of you.